What's going on guys, Archangel here with a brand new Siege tip video for you guys. So we're going to talk about Jackal and how to counter him. So when it comes to playing Siege, the most common thing that you'll see when you're playing ranked is a Jackal ban. And to me, I still a lot of people can justify it in their own ways when it comes to banning Jackal. But to me, I don't see the big issue with Jackal. It's not because I play him a lot, I do play him a little bit. But he's not a main, he's not, he's not someone who I you know need to have in order to play. But the reason why I feel like Jackal bans are stupid, and I've made a video before when it comes to to Jackal, is you can you, there's better things to do when it comes to pick and ban, and this goes back to that discussion on you know how to have a smart you know ban system. Um, but what I want to talk about is how you can actually counter Jackal, because it seems like people just either a are just bad at the game and don't understand that he's easy to counter. Or B just doesn't want to bother at all, and to me, that the latter of that is the worst because you only get two bans: one on attack and one on defense. So if you waste that one attack ban on a jackal, you just left Monty on the board, you just left Blitz on the board, you left Thatcher on the board if you're playing defense first. So you leave all these people on the board who could be effective in ban jackal just because you don't want to get spotted. So what you'll see in this video is some clips um, of me countering Jackal. And I said it before, when it comes to me going against a Jackal, if I get spotted, I do one of two things. Either A, I'll just run to the OBJ and just let him waste his, his tracks. Because most times if someone's smart and they're playing Jackal, they're not going to push OBJ at the beginning of a game to take out the anchor. Like, that's why I say it's smart for the anchors to get hatches because if Jackal wastes, wastes his, his tracks on someone who got the hatch, you're just going to be sitting there spotting Rook the entire time. And Rook's just sitting on OBJ minding his own business. You know, so unless Rook is in a corner somewhere that's not fortified, you know, Rook is going to be safe. So when Jack's going to waste his tracks on a Rook who's, who's, on, who's on objective, you know, who's fortified, and, and you, Jackal can't even get to him. So the, the smart, the first thing to counter Jackal is, is, is just get to OBJ and just hunker down. The second thing I would say to, cancel, to counter Jackal is Kavera. A lot of people just ban Calf because they don't want to deal with her. But Kavera's a good counter to Jackal. Because even though Jackal can't scan her, the second she activates her shadow little step thing, whatever it's called, her little silent step, whenever she activates that, her footprints disappear. So every time Calf uses her, her ability, her footprints disappear. So Jackal has a harder time counter dealing with Calf than he, than he would with anybody else. So. The smart play, if you feel like the other team is going to play Jackal, bring a Calf, so Calf can counter Jackal. The third counter Jackal, Legion. If Jackal is you know, doing his thing and you are a smart Legion, chances are he's going to walk into your Legion mine at some point. So what you can do, which is going to go into the fourth counter Jackal, is you can use your, yourself being tracked as a decoy to draw Jackal in to get an easy kill. The clips that you've seen in this video is just that. I'm playing Legion in one clip, which probably already passed by this point, and Jackal spots me. I don't go push Jackal. I don't go do anything other than I get into a, a safe spot, I hunker down, and I throw some Legion mines, some, some, some Legion traps at the door. I go, what you see in the clip, you see some at the front door. I also have some on the right side door. So no matter which way Jackal come, I'm gonna know that he's coming. That's the first thing. Second thing is, he's going to be poisoned. So he has two options. Back off and, you know, ignore that ping and get the, the goo mine out. Or B, keep pushing. So in that clip, you see Jackal pushing me when I'm playing Legion. And I draw him into some goo mines and I get an easy kill. You can use his tracking to your advantage. The second clip is damn near the same thing. There's a mirror window set up. And this is the exact same map too. It's on uh, an organ. Mira has her, has her wall set up. I can see the back, the blue stairs. Jackal tracks me. I'm waiting for him to come down those stairs. I see him come down the stairs. I see him through the mirror window. I know he's coming. I'm taunting him. I'm waiting for him, him to, to come this way. He comes He comes down the stairs. He's trying to track me down and, and get me. I, I push him. I know where he's at. I know that he's already lit because my teammate shot him. So I know for a fact that I can get that Jackal. So what I'm basically saying is... you. Instead of just banning Jackal because you don't want to deal with him, you can utilize his own gadget against him. 
If you're playing Kavir, if you're playing Legion, if you're playing an Anchor, you can use his gadget to your advantage. If he's tracking you, you can use that to draw him into you. You know, if you're if you're tracked by Jackal, you know he's coming at you. you now the only thing that you have to worry about is if he's not alone. You know, if you're about to get double teamed or triple teamed or quad teamed, you know, if all five people are pushing you, if it's just Jackal pushing you, you shouldn't be worried. You know, rely on your gun skill, rely on your intelligence, outsmart the, the Jackal player. You know, to me, and he's getting nerfed anyways. He's, they're, they're taking off one of his paints from five to four, so. I feel like people should just stop banning him. There's you. There's other people for you to to ban, and again, he, you can counter Jackal. His his counter's a lot easier than anybody else on attack, in my opinion, because again, you can literally use his 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 own gadget against him. You know, like I feel like I say this every single time I make a siege video that picking and banning in this in the game needs to be about. You know, who really affects your team. Not who affects you on an individual level, but affects the team. Your band should not be the same people every single game. It should be smart based on the map you're playing on. Based on you know, what you think they're going to bring. I see people freaking, like, as, as irritating as Clash is, I've only played against Clash and ranked once. So she shouldn't be in a, a band every single time you play the game if you're not seeing her. So don't just be like automatically just ban Clash. There's other people on defense who are going to be a bigger impact than Clash is. You know, if, if, if they do pick a Clash, you know they got a Clash. Then the next round, bring someone that counters Clash. Bring a Thermite. Not Thermite. Bring a Thatcher. Bring Capital. Bring Nades. Get stuns. You, know, you can stun Clash. You can you can take her out with a Firebolt. You can neutralize her shock ability with Thatcher's EMPs. You know, think of who you're going to ban and how you counter them. Now, this is mostly about how to counter Jackal and not how pick and bans work. But overall, when it comes to countering Jackal, you won't, be, you won't get a chance to learn how to counter him if you're not playing against them. When you play against the operator, you learn how to counter them better. You learn how to play against them better. You can't get that experience if you're not playing against them because you're banning him every single time you play against them. Your ban should be based on who is going to affect you on that map. Now, if you're playing on a uh, Shillette, I mentioned before that uh, the popular, the smart ban for Chalette will be Thatcher. But let's say the other team ban, Th ban Thatcher. And you're in attack first. Not attack first, you're in defense first. And the other team who's on attack first, they ban Thatcher. So who should you ban it now that the person who, who you was going to ban is banned? Who's someone else who will be a huge impact against you on that map? Say Twitch. So you get rid of Twitch and now you can play Mirror without worrying about her taking your, taking your, your windows down. That's what you should be doing when it comes to, to picking and banning. Not because I'm scared to get tracked. It should be based on if I get rid of this person, that makes our lives a lot easier overall compared to the roamers don't have to deal with Jackal. Because Jackal isn't a thing to, to, to anchors. He's just a roamers problem. But Thatcher, getting rid, rid of him on Border and Chalette, that helps the entire team. Get rid of Twitch on those maps. That helps the entire team. You know, getting rid of a thermite on a map where you you don't want the, the other team to have two breachers helps the, the entire team. Getting rid of a lesion on a map where he tends to be very strong on helps the entire team. Your ban should be based on how it affects the entire team, how it affects the map you're playing on, and how it affects the enemy team. Not based on you as an individual person going, I I can't stand person, I can't stand Jackal, I can't stand uh, Kavera, I can't stand Echo, I can't stand Legion. Ban should not be based on the individual, it should be based based on the team. And, and again, you can't learn to counter if you're not playing against them. You know, Blitz right now is weak. I don't think people should be banning Blitz because he's right now in the position that he's in, he's super easy to deal with now. First off, C4. Second off, if you know they have a Blitz, Chances aren't they're going to try to peek you because blitzes are kind of dumb and they think they, they got the best pistol skill. You can get an easy headshot. Second thing, listen to call outs. If your teammate calls out that there's a blitz, don't ignore that they, they called that out. Use your, your teammates, you and your teammates can work together to corner that blitz. Blitz can't take both of you out at the same time. So if your teammates are in front of blitz and blitz flashes him, you come from behind, easy K. 
Same thing when it comes to Monty. If your teammate calls out Monty, now we'll say Monty should get banned more often than not because of how easy it is to just use him as a, as a to, to do a do a plant and he'll just sit sit on the, on the bomb the entire time. But if you outnumber Monty, he's not a problem. So if you learn how to counter people, you can start banning people based on just overall impact and not individual irritation. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave any thoughts you have in the comments below. You know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitch. My Twitch channel is steadily uh, growing. So don't miss out on the action. A lot of the videos that you see on here are recorded from my Twitch channel. So go ahead and head over to Twitch. Hit the follow button. I appreciate you all. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.